Okay, we are joined by the UT RGV Vaqueros, uh, head coach Larry Tidwell, student athletes Hilda Bjorg, Coach Tenrutter, and Raquel Preston. Coach, general thoughts on the game? Well, general thoughts, you give uh, credit to New Mexico State. They shot the ball extremely well again. They shot it uh, at a 54% clip in the first half, and then for the game, 48%. So you gotta give them credit. Uh, they have a very ex experienced, te experienced team, they're deep. And uh, Mark Track and them bring a great program, a first-class program to the table each and every year. So congratulations to them. We fought. You know, this is our third time to the interviewing table, so we did do something right this year, you know, and get to the championship again. But uh, we've got to continue to get better. I'd like to say that my lone senior, Raquel Preston, appreciate all the effort that she's given me the whole year. Outstanding. And uh, this is sophomore Hilda Carson's daughter, another outstanding year for her. So we've got a, a lot to build on. We've got a lot returning, but we've got to figure out how we need to shoot better the entire game instead of uh, different segments. But um, again, hats off to the Aggies, and I appreciate the effort that our young ladies have given. We're 19 and 13, ties for the most wins in the history of the program. And uh, we're assured a WNIT berth, and we're going to go try and get number 20 and rec represent the WAC in a positive manner. Okay, open for questions, and we have a wireless mic back here. For the players, uh, Raquel, first, uh, what were the adjustments you guys wanted to make at halftime, and how well do you felt like those worked in the third quarter? You guys did gain some ground in the third quarter. Um. I think we wanted to play more defense, better defense, and um, I think we adjusted well. We just couldn't finish shots. You know, one of the questions, you know, to help Raquel, we talked about at halftime. We went to a straight 75. That's a full court pressure for us, and we picked it up. And with about four minutes left in the third quarter, I believe we had cut it to 12. And uh, we had a wide open shot at the top of the key that we didn't hit for a three pointer. We might have cut it to nine and made it really exciting. But uh, we went back to our man-to-man -man, uh, progressions that we've had all year, full court pressure, and got back in the ball game. And then they hit some threes at the very end to separate us. Okay. You had some difficulty shooting in, in each of the first two quarters. How, how tough was it to come back? from that after you well, we, we, we we had difficulty shooting against Chicago we've had difficulty against uh, you know we came back against Chicago in the latter stages we shot 29 percent yesterday and won and so that's a that's accomplishment in its own we just need to continue to to work hard work at it uh, maybe get a little bit better shots maybe shot selection but hey I tell my girls to keep shooting uh, I know yesterday we had 60 rebounds and today we, we only had 37, we got out rebounded, but if you keep shooting, there's gonna be rebounds there, so we go get them and try to put them back. But yeah, we continuously work on shooting. That's uh, something we do in our workout every day. For Hilder and Raquel, uh, season's not over, you get the WNIT. What does it mean to you guys uh, to make another postseason, a second ever uh, for the school, uh, especially for Raquel, another get to play at least one more game? Um. <clears throat> It means a lot to us to get another chance to show what we really can do. Uh, definitely did not play our best game today, so we hope to go to the next game and show really how good we can be. Um, Raquel, your fourth. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, your fourth year with the program. You're wrapping up your senior season. Uh, what did it mean to you to to play for UTRGV and to to have such a successful career in your four years? Um, it means a lot. Uh, one of the biggest things for me signing here was to make a change and make a difference and play for something that's bigger than myself. And um, I just wanted to change, change the school. And um, I think I helped a little bit. I think we all helped a little bit. And um, I'm excited for that. That's that's a big accomplishment. Accomplishment. I mean. Any other questions? I mean, yeah, I mean, just for coach, uh, any, uh, was there any information you have gotten on the WNIT at, at all, like pri prior to 
Yeah. I, I've played at previous places at Lamar and at TCU and Baylor. We played at WNIT, and usually it's a, like they start out in the region first. So there's a lot of pretty good schools that are pretty close to us. You know, my first guess might be TCU. I mean, I mean that may be because they try to keep you in the region and the start, and then you build from there. So, but again, something I'm extremely proud of in the 32 years of Division One at UTRGV. This is the second winning season in a row and the second postseason in a row. And so we're building something special there and we're going to continue to build it. We hate to lose Rock and Rock, I really appreciate the three years we've been together. We've had a lot of excitement together. Is that right or wrong? Yes, <laughs> but Rock brings it and we appreciate that. Uh, getting Hilda from Iceland was a big recruit for us and she's one of the national team players in Iceland and very well rewarded being on the all-tournament team because I thought both of these they had the years that they could have been on the all-conference teams also so we're very proud of where our program's headed uh, we're getting back by administration to the full extent of what is allowed and we appreciate that very much and we had a lot of fans here and one thing and I'll end on this when we, when we first came here, we averaged less than 100 a game. Was that about right, Jonah? Somewhere in that area, around there? And now in our conference here, this year, we're averaging almost in conference, what, 1,100? Somewhere, and, and we're growing. And we're getting excitement in the Valley about basketball, and we're gonna continue to build off this, and we're gonna go out and represent our school, our families, our university, and the WAC we're going, to, we're, going to reserve, we're going to represent them first class when we go to the WNIT. And we plan on being back here next year with a different scenario. All right. Thank you, Coach. Very good luck in uh, WNIT. Thank you. Thank you.